Welcome to the Terraria Sky Grid Challenge. I start by making my world large, master. Wait, didn't I make crimson? In the Sky Grid Challenge, the entire world is well a sky grid. It is arranged in these three by three block patterns that go on forever until the world ends. Um, I didn't originally know this, but I guess I get early late game materials early on if I can get them like titanium and adamantite and all the other ores, blizzard brick, but I guess, I don't know. But yeah, I've got both types of each ore in here in both world evils, so that's cool. Um, a very strange issue with this that wasn't really in any of the other challenges is all the rare ores are like a little common now but it also means all the common materials are rare so I have to go out searching for wood and stone and like all this other stuff is here and I don't need it it's like finding uh, diamonds before iron but I can mine surface crimtain so similar to the one block challenge I also did on my channel you can craft crates out of various ores and such, so that's nice. But, um, I go ahead and start mining ores. Not even for crates, just for ore stuff. Like gold, platinum, lead. Oh. Once night, you know, starts going down and all that, I, you know, keep mining. I mean, what else am I gonna do? I start with acorns, I go ahead and set up a nice tree farm. Again, I have to mine for wood, so being able to renew it will be pretty helpful. I have quite a few resources, and I really just want to make a furnace right now, because then I can get a blood butcher and can actually do stuff against monsters. Finally, torches! This is my chance I can finally get some torches, oh my god. Alright, so I gotta trap him in. Incredibly starved for torches. <coughs> oh my gosh. Come and bless you. But, so, finding a torch on me was huge. Because I can't really effectively kill slimes, not only will they jump to their demise, I think, but they're also hard to damage because they don't have a good weapon. So, finding a zombie like this drops up so many torches, and I'm so lucky I start with buckets. Bucket. I didn't actually get that many torches, if I'm going to be honest, but getting more than enough to make a furnace was pretty great. Because now I can make a furnace and have a few torches to light my day. Alright, yes, yeah, so now I've got crimtain bars, I can create all these ores, finally use most of the resources I've gathered in a nice way. Alright, I'm going to go exploring a little bit more. Dang, I get so many torches. Because it was so dark and I don't really know how to turn the brightness. Hello? Wait, what? I lost um, a third of my torches. So now I only have one on my farm and three in my furnace. Which is still like good enough. But like, man. I already, I already didn't even have that many torches. Die, 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 you stupid thing. Give me torches. I need them. I mined some more. And I mined a little bit after that. bit more crimtain if I want to make the Awesomeinator, also known as the Blood Butcher. But, um, this is before the rework, well not technically before the rework, 
but this is a version that the melee rework didn't happen so no no cool blood butcher only the the basic one at least the fiery great store sword still has that name a tree yes wood Oh yeah, now we have the blood butcherer. Um, I guess now we have golden stuff. That's that's cool. Um, I go ahead and start making my very first Terraria house. I make it very very similar to the kind of you know before pylons or py after pylons when people don't care about their housing and make these. But that's because I have limited resources. And I think it looks pretty nice. Oh my gosh. Guide named Dylan. Well, this is actually quite helpful because I don't know exactly yeah, what crates I can make. So, um, yeah, these are cool. Try to make a few of these because this is the only way I can get accessories. And as we'll come to know later in the run, the only way I can make life crystals. Blah blah blah. Mining, mining, mining. Ugh. Crate time. Crates. Yes, crates. Oh, lovely. I get mana potions. I definitely need those. For how much I love playing the mage class. Oh my gosh. Let's go. Yes, it's 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 time for crates. Um, Journeyman Bay and Falcon Blade. Uh, guess that 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 that's cool. Dang, I sure do love mining. Yeah, mining, mining some more. Green slime. Alright, I don't know when, but I got selfish wheels, so that's awesome. I got like three or four pairs, like from all these crates, and I even set up a little chest to dump my crap into. And now the merchant arrived, oh my gosh, and more selfish boots! Yeah, I don't know when, but I know it wasn't before the last shot. So, um, yeah, that's a big dub. Because normally, it takes a while to get boots. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay, I caught it here, and this time I know I'm about to get something good, because you know, I didn't keep track of the selfish boots. It's gonna be, yeah, a boomstick. Isn't that cool? Such a good weapon. I, like, never used to get boomsticks. Now in all these challenge videos, they pretty much carry me. It's so awesome. With all the bait I got, I set up a little fishing spot and put buckets on my head. Because I guess that's what I do. Thank you. I'm not gonna use this, but this is cool. Thank you. Dang, and the arm suitor, I can finally use the boomstick. Oh, wow, my little world is coming, coming together. Pretty good, I guess.
bunch of boring crap, who cares? <laughs> Finally, traveling merchant. Okay. Something good. Yes, traveling merchant. Yes. Dynasty wood, yes! Dynasty wood! Oh, yeah, alright, our wood problem is solved. This is a um, uh, setting up of a, a corruption farm because I started with crep seeds, so just planting this seed. So, yeah. I am also building in a little arena, so you know what that means. It's time to actually do something interesting and fight a boss. <laughs> Finally, it's time. Um, that fight was super laggy, but I guess, I don't know, comment if it looked cool, but that's our first boss fight down. How sweet. Google time. Um. Wow. Using a mix of the bullets from the boomstick and fossil weapons that I scavenged for earlier off camera. Well, technically on camera, but I just didn't put it in the video. So yeah, getting some nice damage over time, and shotgun. A mixture of all of my accessories, grapple hook, mini weapons, and everything else. This fight actually isn't even that bad with, all, with the limited health I have, there's a zombie on the runway. Okay, why have they not made it to where monsters don't spawn during boss fights? That is crazy. I might download a mod for that, but that's like the most annoying thing in Terraria. Other than like ore armors costing 30 billion bars each.
that wraps up this video. If you want me to make a part two, then 30 likes and I'll do it because let me let you in on a little secret. This was supposed to be an all of pre hard mode video, but I really don't want to edit all of it and, and just put it in one video, especially if the video doesn't do well. And I wanted to upload on Saturday. So if you really want me to make a video of getting into hard mode, then then yeah, leave a like and subscribe too. Or comment or do all three. So um with that, that is the Skygrid challenge.